Here is a difficult problem on division and factoring. Now question 12. Factor fully px cubed plus p minus qx square plus minus 2p minus q x plus 2q. Now in this problem now possibility of factors could be factors of 2q which is plus minus 1 plus minus 2 right and uh, those are the numbers which we need to try now you can try each and every number one by one and then see which gives you zero okay well I did this exercise and therefore I found that p of minus 2 was zero so let me do p of minus 2 now here you can do all plus minus 1 and then plus minus 2 and I found that p of minus 2 was 0. So I'm just showing p of minus 2 here on this sheet of paper because I have limited space and let's say one time. So these questions could be very tedious and sometimes may take a lot of time also, right? So you re really need patience while factoring polynomials, okay? <laughs> Especially one like this. So let's figure it out. What is p of minus 2 for us? So we'll replace this x with minus 2. If I do so, you get minus 2 cube, which is minus 8, right? So first, let me write the whole thing with minus 2. Minus 2 cube, then we got plus p minus q. We got minus 2 square plus <clears throat> minus 2p minus q minus 2 plus 2q. So we replaced x with minus 2. And now minus 2q is minus 8. So we get minus 8p. And minus 2 squared is 4, right? So I'll multiply these with 4. I get 4p minus 4q. Minus 2 with minus will give me plus. So I'll get plus 4p plus 2q, right? And plus 2q. Correct. Now, let's combine the terms. Minus 8p plus 4p plus 4p. So basically, we are looking at these. Minus 8p plus 4p and plus 4p, right? So that becomes 0. Do you see that? So these three terms are 0, correct? And then let's look into our q's. So we got plus 2q plus 2q is 4 and minus 4q so we get 0 right that means that p of minus 2 is 0 that means x plus 2 is a factor is it okay if x plus 2 is a factor then I can divide the whole term with x plus 2 and factorize it right let's do that part now so let me do make a long line this time okay and <coughs> let's write <coughs> x plus 2 here. And what we have here is px cubed plus p minus q x squared plus minus 2p minus q x plus 2q, right? So we'll try <coughs> to divide this now and see what is our quotient, right? Remainder should be 0. Perfect. <coughs> when you divide this by this, first term is px cubed, so I should multiply by px square. So I'll write px square here because I'm involving two terms, right? There are two terms here. So px square times x will give me px cubed, right? Plus 2 times pq square. Okay? So, 2 times pq square. And let's take it. Oh, it is not q, it's x. That's what I was thinking was happening here. px square. Yeah px cubed, p 2 times px, px square, okay, right. 
So px cube take away px cube is 0 and there is px square and this is 2 times px square, right? This is, let me write this clearly for you, px square, right? And therefore this is also x, not q, okay? Now, px square mi minus 2 px square will give me minus px square and this one is also minus qx square is it okay and let me bring down the next term which is plus of minus 2p minus q times x now I should have written this in the factored form itself as I can you know I can factor out x square from here let me write it if I factor out x square from here it becomes simpler then we get minus p and minus q, okay? So it is minus p minus qx square plus minus, because it helps me. I can multiply this by minus of, I should write plus, and I can write minus p minus q times x. That helps. Do you see that? Now if I multiply by minus p minus qx with this x, I get minus p minus q x square that is the whole idea right okay now plus two times this so plus two times this so when i multiply this by two and we have a x outside so let me put x outside and inside terms i'll multiply by two so i get minus two p minus two q does it make sense it's kind of tricky so have a good look at it and see what i'm trying to do there are a lot of things in the limited space. So when I take away, then this becomes 0, right? And here we have minus 2p minus 2p is 0. And q minus this becomes qx, right? So we are left with q here plus 2q. Now x plus 2, we need to multiply this by q. So we get plus q. So when I multiply by q, I get qx plus 2q and my remainder is 0. Do you see that? So that becomes the quotient and therefore now I can write down my answer and my answer is that f of x all this let me just write it as p of x I'm using p here so we say p of x is equals to x plus 2 times px square plus minus p minus qx plus q. So that's the factored form of the given polynomial. Okay. So have a good look at it. See what we did. So first we tried all the numbers plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 and finally we got p of minus 2 as 0. That means x plus 2 is a factor. So we divided the whole polynomial with x plus 2. Now these brackets are with a purpose, right? These are the coefficients of x cubed, coefficients of x squared, coefficients of x, right? That is why we put these brackets and it, they help us to divide too. Now, first term is px cubed, so divided by x we get px squared, so it should be px squared, which we are writing here. So when you multiply by px squared, you get px cubed plus 2px squared. When you take away from here, it is p here, 2p here, so we get minus px squared and minus q. So I wrote them in bracket, minus p minus q x squared. Plus we brought down the next term, minus 2p minus q x. Now, coefficient of x is 1 here and x squared is this. So we multiply by minus p minus q x and we get this, correct? If you take away, you get qx and 2q, then multiply by q to get your result. So that's how we factor this kind of an polynomial expression. Have a good look at it. Try to understand. And these could be some of the typical problems for you in the test. Okay. Hope you get it in your test and you get it right. Thank you and all the best.